Okay, we're gonna make uh, chocolate mousse. Uh, what we have uh, to make the chocolate mousse is we have chocolate, I've got some uh, uh, butter, I've got egg yolks, egg whites, heavy cream, sugar, and I've got some bananas and strawberries, as well as uh, some amaretto. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, chocolate to melt with uh, some butter. So I've got the butter that's uh, been out for a little bit, getting a little soft. I'm gonna add that to it. Slice it up a little bit to make it a little easier to help it melt. We're gonna use a uh, spatula to incorporate the butter and the uh, chocolate. Now I really want this to be hot enough that when I add the egg yolks, I get them to help start to set up the chocolate and also to make sure that the uh, eggs are warm enough that we don't have any problems with uh, uh, any kind of bacteria growth. I have the chocolate in double boiler because I want to have just enough heat to melt the uh, chocolate. So our chocolate is probably right now at about uh, 150, 165 degrees, somewhere in that range. And as we do the rest of the procedure, it will start to cool down. I've got a nice uh, granite top that will help uh, reduce the temperature of the, the chocolate. And now we've got the chocolate in a nice uh, smooth, Texture. So we can take a look and see how that is looking. The butter is almost all completely melted. I can add my egg yolks. And I'm going to be a little vigorous because I want to make sure that the egg yolks do break up and disperse nice and evenly. The egg yolks are going to help this uh, give it a little bit of body and strength to our mousse. The chocolate itself also when it sets up will help give some body and strength to the mousse. What's really nice about this mousse is it works really nicely to be served uh, as is or I can serve it frozen and if I serve it frozen it's almost like an ice cream. Uh, it's very nice. Now our chocolate is nicely incorporated. I'm just going to put that off to the side. Oh, I'm actually going to add my amaretto to it now. So that flavor can meld together with the chocolate and I'll get a nice even dispersal of the amaretto. I can use any kind of liqueur if I want. Uh, Grand Marnier works really nicely. A few bowls, put some bananas in these. And then add the mousse right on top. Before I go on to the next ones, what I want to do is I want to put a banana garnish on these so that I remember that these are banana at the bottom. Now what I can also do with um, the mousse is I could serve it into, in a larger uh, container. I can even put it into ramekins where I, I, I put a little bit of a, a seal around the ramekin like with aluminum foil and I can actually fill it a little bit above the rim and then freeze it and then it's served as a frozen mousse or uh, another kind of a dessert. So it's a very versatile dessert, but as you can see with this, you can see from the bottom that it's uh, got the bananas and you can see from the top that it's got the banana. Buen provecho.